afternoon and welcome. As we join each other this day and give thanks to God for the marriage of Judy and David, receive the greeting. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Please be seated. David, will you have Judy to be your wife? To live together in the covenant of marriage, will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? If, please, if so, please say, I will. I will. And Judy, will you have David to be your husband? To live together in the covenant of marriage. Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him, as long as you both shall live? If so, would you please say, I will. I will. And to you, the congregation, who are privileged to witness this event, will all of you, by God's grace, uphold and care for Judy and David in their life together? If so, with the words of affirmation, will you tell them, we will? We will. Let us pray. Gracious God, you sent your Son into the world to reveal your love to all people. Enrich Judy and David with every good gift that their life together may show forth your love and grant that at the last we may all celebrate with Christ the marriage feast that has no end. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The countdown is complete. The day is here. And for the planning of a wedding that has consumed time, energy, tons of detail, I want to be the spokesperson this day that represents every single person gathered together in this place on this afternoon to offer a word of congratulations for a job well done, to provide all of us here an opportunity to celebrate your special day and with you nothing short of happiness for the rest of your life together. David and Judy, it's quite obvious by the numbers of people present here today, that we are genuinely happy for the two of you. It became quite evident for those of us last evening who were part of your rehearsal activities that you not only have a lasting love and commitment to each other, but a determination and intention to blend somewhat distinctively different families into one, and that became visibly witnessed and will be so in a few moments through the ceremony of the sand. And with the blessing of your new house last night, it was apparent a new home and a family was evolving. And with all due respects to memories of the past, especially of Ellie and David, and the emotions that surfaced today with them, Jesse, Rob, Jeff, and Tom, see a mom and a dad today who have been given again the joy of companionship and partnership in marriage. And for that, all of us rejoice. The two of you know better than I, than any of us here this afternoon, that it's going to take some work as it does in any relationship, to make your marriage be the best that it can be. And I'll be the first to admit, and perhaps confess, that I had some concerns and reservations in your decision to marry, because it seemed to me that the two of you were distinctively different. <laughs> but it wasn't the first time I was wrong in assessing relationships, and I'm sure it won't be the last. And given the privilege and the pleasure of conversations with you prior to today, I can honestly, publicly, profess that the two of you, because of your differences and your common interests, you are the best of the best of the best 
in gifts to each other. Well, that being said, David, let me assure that you're going to continue to have my thoughts and prayers. <laughs>
in duty God bless you both for you both are indeed a blessing to us my friends this afternoon is one of a recollection of memories memories indigenous to each of the families that are present of times past making memories of this day and looking forward to memories yet to be made. And so Judy, in her very creative way, wants to make sure that the memories kindled for this day are to be remembered in the future. You'll have an opportunity to see a collage of pictures that reflect memories of David's and Judy's past. But for a memory to be made today, I'm going to ask the Bible party to just move a little bit to the side and all the children who have been part of Judy's life, all the children who are present, would you please come forward at this time to have a memory made with the picture taken of Judy?